worker. E-cigarette batteries exploding, putting users at risk for some serious burns. In fact, right now, a teenage girl in New Hampshire is recovering from burns to her face, her hands, and her body. And the issue here, a battery that exploded. As Christina Hager shows us, local doctors say this is a growing problem. There's been a lot of debate about what you're inhaling when you take a drag from an electronic cigarette, but now doctors and fire officials are sounding an alarm about the mechanics of the devices themselves. One exploded in a New Hampshire teen's hand last week, and the medical director at Shriners Hospitals for Children says Boston doctors have had similar cases. Hopefully somebody will get together and, and regulate it before, you know, even if these incidents are rare, if you use them enough as a population of people, you know, there will be, will be problems. In the five years before 2014, more than 2.5 million Americans reported using e-cigarettes. There were 25 explosions or fires involving them nationwide, leading to nine injuries. Experts say accidents happen when users combine e-cig parts that aren't meant to go together or use batteries and chargers that aren't compatible. At this store, anytime someone buys what's called a hybrid, they have to sign a disclaimer. And this says that they won't use it with the wrong kind of atomizer because that could cause an explosion. We try to educate everyone when they, when they purchase their product. We educate them how to fill it, how to use it, what not to do. Sales of e-cigarettes were estimated at $1.7 billion last year. And as that number grows at a rapid fire pace, so does the urgency behind the calls to keep them safe. Christina Hager, WBZ News.